Hey everybody, welcome back to Beekeeping in Paradise. I'm Brent, I'm your host. And uh, I wanna welcome you back to my jungle farm park. And that's what I'm calling it. I'm calling it a jungle farm park. Because... Don't wanna sleep in, cause I got something to prove. I gotta take what I hate and finally make a move. I think of you and all the shit you don't do. Well, I'm a make hell of Park, because over there, that is definitely jungle, and over there is definitely jungle, and I'm going to leave it like that. And on the other side of that ridge over there, behind that, that's where the farm is, and that's where we planted all the fruit trees a few episodes ago. So that's the farm. This part, this is the part that I want to look like a park, <clears throat> and as you can see, all of my hard work in a few previous episodes ago to mow all this is for naught and it is it, it's jungle again it has gone completely back to jungle and now these weeds are almost waist high i have a lot of work to do to uh, get this back under control and so what i did was i went on lazada and i got an actual lawnmower now I wasn't expecting this to be this thick, but I knew it was thick because we were just out here a few weeks ago doing our coconut harvest, and that went really well, but I was not expecting this thick. So I'm going to have to keep these wheels on the absolute top highest setting, and I have not even fired this machine up yet. It doesn't have oil in it. It doesn't have any uh, gasoline in it but we're going to try and see if we can get it started together and see if I can actually bring some of this back under control because if I can use this to mow this quickly and efficiently then I don't mind coming out here way more often and then just using the weed eater with the uh, nylon string attachment to you know do weed eating stuff and um, so let's get this thing fired up and see if I can make a dent in this. Okay, so I've just added uh, 600 ml, 0.6 of a liter of engine oil, and I turned the engine over a couple of times just to get everything lubricated. And we have. Hopefully, there is no on off switch, um, just this bar and a throttle. So we'll close it, we'll put it about halfway. There's no primer bulb. Getting there. turns off. So now, using our new machine, we're going to go from this to that. So there we go. And it looks much better. Well, first impressions. Um, this is a generic machine. I think the ad may have shown a picture of a Honda, but this is definitely not a Honda. Um, it has no Honda. Well, anyway, it has no Honda stickers on it. Uh, it does say 5.5 horsepower, and it does feel pretty strong. And uh, one thing I like is the uh, tire adjuster, uh, the height. 
you don't have to adjust the four wheels um, separately and independently. You can just use one hand and move this lever in both directions and it raises everything simultaneously. Uh, one drawback is the rear discharge. And you can see it is packed. Um, when I first started this up, it did have the uh, rear bag attachment on it. Well, that filled up in about two seconds. I moved this thing back and forth about twice and that was full. Uh, so then I just left that closed with the bagger off and it worked fine. Uh, I did hit a couple of uh, uh, coconut husks and that killed the engine, but it fired right back up uh, on one pull once it was warm. And uh, so yeah, cold start first time it was about three pulls and it fired over uh, after that one pull each time and uh, it's working well and I like the result this is nice and even I wish this had been the first machine that I would have bought instead of the backpack uh, uh, weed eater and uh, the other weed eater I'm glad I have a weed eater but uh, uh, I wish this had been the first tool that I would have bought because this is actually working really well especially here because there's very few rocks you notice one large tall pile of uh, or clump of weeds and grass there that's because there's a line of rocks in there we were gonna make a decorative patio area in front of the Baha'i Kubo but uh, that didn't get finished uh, so I can't really mow that and I need the weed eater for that one so now this I did go all the way around uh, the Baha'i Kubo and did a really good job it's a little bit squishy back here and it just rolled right over top of that so I would definitely give this machine a uh, positive review and uh, for uh, you know uh, first impressions anyway and uh, oh, I have a long 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 way to go I just had to stop to uh, put on some sunscreen because it is 12:40 in the afternoon and I, of course I started at 12 so all this took just over a half an hour and uh, not bad uh, I think it would have taken a little bit longer with the weed eater and uh, I feel a lot more comfortable using this uh, especially since I know that uh, there are no big rocks hidden in this lawn I can just go and the only thing I'm gonna bump into now and then is a uh, uh, coconut husk and that doesn't seem to do any damage uh, yet so but I am going to if I find a big clump of coconut husk I'm gonna use the wheelbarrow pick those up and start a composting pile over there where they used to uh, uh, roast the copras there's a big hole I'm just gonna fill that in and start composting over there but uh, okay Time to get back to work and start nibbling away at this again uh, so we'll see how that goes I probably won't be able to get that far today um, I'm gonna come back another day when I can come back early in the morning and uh, before it gets real hot because right now is the hottest time of the day and not the most comfortable uh, thing to be doing uh, at 1240 in the afternoon especially when I initially I forgot my sunscreen but I've taken care of that now Guys, don't forget your sunscreen. Even if it makes you feel yucky, sweaty, and stinky, don't forget it. It's good for your skin. All right, well, folks, I know it doesn't look like much, but when the grass is this thick, it takes a lot of effort to push that uh, push mower uh, through the thick weeds. But I did get a section of it done over here in front of the, in front of the Baha'i Kubo. So now... Shelby and her friends have got a nice safe place to a reasonably safe place to play and I'm really happy with the way that this turned out now of course you know when you're cutting stuff that's that thick over there you know that's knee-high waist and some of those other ones are waist high some of them are higher than waist high you're gonna get these little ones that pop up after a while but I'll be able to get those the next time I'm out here but uh, my plan is to get all of this pushed back as far as I can I'm gonna probably need the uh, weed whacker with the steel blade to knock those down 
and uh, clear in between the trees and back over there that thick stuff I'm not gonna tr wreck the lawnmower by trying to push that over um, I'll use the weed eater on those the rest of this I should be able to get with the lawnmower it just takes a long time you have to go over it about four times uh, before it'll cut and get down to looking like a lawn and uh, if you know me at all if you've been watching my videos you'll know that there's only a couple of things in life that I don't like and one is a well manicured lawn uh, as a beekeeper you hate to see a well manicured lawn just because it's a waste of space there's it's basically it's a food desert for the bees there's nothing growing there um, that they can forage on and I love having things like this that bloom I'm sure they probably make a little bit of nectar and pollen and that's wonderful and great and there's little tiny white flowers in here but if it comes down to it uh, making the choice of having um, an area that's safe to play in for my daughter and her friends um, where you can see snakes uh, and avoid them uh, and not be surprised by them or accidentally step on one um, that's worth the trade-off of having a well manicured lawn so my plan really is to get all of this manicured right down to the uh, little river that flows over there during the rainy season leave the jungle jungly up there provides a lot of nice shade but I'm gonna thin this out and uh, make it a look a little bit more pleasant and uh, park like so I mean I'm envisioning you know some concrete pathways flowers uh, on on both of these sides here I'd love to see a, a formal pathway um, that uh, has you know sunflowers and things that are asters and lavender things that are good for the bees all the way down over here I'll probably have to make it wide enough for a car to come in though so be a nice wide path uh, so I can get the multi-cab down in here occasionally but uh, I think it's this is good progress and I didn't just do this little area here but I made a nice wide path all the way to the gate and uh, I actually made another clearing kind of looks like a helipad over here by the by the gate so I could get, take a little swing at uh, clearing the fence line so yeah I want to get the I don't need a whole bunch of stuff growing up in the fence so I want to be able to see that barbed wire fence um, all the way down and uh, yeah that'll look a lot better once this is cut it'll just be so pretty with these coconut trees in here uh, as long as the grass is mowed and once it's mowed nice and short the first time I should be able to come by and see th that's why we do it folks right there that's why we make the trade-off so that Shelby can have and her friends can have a place to play but uh, anyway I have a long way to go but I'm getting there I don't give up I persist I move on and uh, we'll make it so until next time remember I'm Brent this is beekeeping in paradise reminding you that no matter where you are in the world if you've got bees you are definitely beekeeping in paradise <laughs> whoops be safe be kind god bless i love y'all all right it's okay one more province life it's never boring all right turn around come back hurry up you make your own fun out here no electricity no running water no problem good job good job good job you got both of your shoes now where'd you lose your other shoe why didn't it oh <laughs> That's a problem.
Run so fast you lose your shoe. Hello. Hi there. All right, that's it. Just wanted to share a little bit of the fun out here at the farm.